So um, now we've added the LB to the transformations after heat shocking them, uh, and we have no DNA plus the two DNAs that went into strain 4-1, and then no DNA plus the two DNA programs that went into strain 4-2. So we have a total of six Petri dishes. All of them have LB plus ampicillin uh, in the media. You certainly could plate the other half of these transformation mixes onto LB with no drug and get lawns for all of the cells. Um, but what I'd like to do is just show that um, if you take 250 microliters out of the transformation mix and put it onto your Petri dish, there are a couple of ways you could plate, spread the, the cells around. One is to take sterile beads like this that you can roll, oops, spill all over, <laughs> roll around the surface of the plate like this, and that will spread the liquid over the surface of the plate, and then these can be put into hazardous waste, there we go. or uh, into a bleach solution to be re-autoclaved or sterilized again. Um, the other way to do it would be to take um, the spreader, which many students, many places have. So again, you just put 250 microliters on the surface of the plate, and if you have a glass spreader or a plastic spreader that you can uh, sterilize by passing through a flame, and then you can spread the liquid on the surface of the plate like that. And it just needs to be spread around a little bit and then allowed to sink in before you turn them upside down to grow overnight.